In this video, I will be going over an example of a question involving circular measure. Now, in my previous videos about the area of a sector and arc length, I give a few examples of que some questions, but this question is slightly more difficult and it's more similar to what you might come across in a test or an exam. So it says that this figure shows a circle, center O, radius R centimeters. The length of the arc AB of the circle is 9 pi centimeters. Angle AOB is theta radians and it is three times the angle OBA. So this right here is our angle OBA. And this is from 2009, it's the past paper question. We have to first show that theta is equal to three over five pi radians. Then we have to find the value of R. Then we have to find the area of the shaded region. So as always, let's start with the first part of our question. We have to show that theta is equal to 3 over 5 pi radians. Now, in order to do this, let's look at what information we have on theta. So angle AOB is theta, is theta radians, and it is three times larger than angle OBA. Let's call angle OBA angle X. So we know that theta is three times angle OBA, or three times X. So theta is three times as large as x. Now let's zoom in a bit on our diagram to see what else we can tell about the value of theta. Well, we know that since this value is r and this value is also r, that we have an isosceles triangle. And what this tells us is that this angle over here on this side of our triangle will also be equal to x. And what do we know about triangles? Uh, well, all of the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So theta, our value for theta, scroll down, plus our value for x, plus our value for x is equal to 180 degrees, which we can also write as pi radians. Now we can rewrite this as theta plus 2x is equal to pi radians. Our second equation, which we can also rewrite, is theta is equal to 3x. Now, as you can see over here, we have a simultaneous equation. Where we have to solve simultaneous equations. So in order to do this, let's get x in terms of theta. So x is equal to theta over 3 plug this into our equation up here, or this equation actually. So theta is equal to, or theta plus, theta plus two times x, where x is equal to theta over three, is equal to pi radians. And this is a pi, just looks a bit odd. So from this we get theta is equal to 3 theta over theta, add this, or 3 theta over 3, plus 2 theta over 3 is equal to pi radians, 5 over 3 times theta is equal to pi radians. If we bring the fraction over here, we get pi times 3 over 5 is equal to theta. We can write our final answer as theta is equal to 3 over 5 multiplied by pi. And that is exactly what we were asked to prove earlier on. 3 over 5 pi radians is equal to theta. Okay, now let's move on to the second question. Part 2, which asks us to find the value of r or the radius of our circle. So we're doing part 2. You have to find the value of r. This is pretty simple. We know that our arc length is equal to 9 pi centimeters. So our arc length is equal to 9 pi. We know that theta is equal to 3 over 5 pi. And we also know the equation of arc length, which is arc length, arc length is equal to the radius 
times theta or the angle of the sector. We can just plug in our values for arc length and theta so we get 9 pi is equal to 3 over 5 pi times theta. We can cross out the pi on both sides. So no more pi. We get 9 is equal to 3 over 5 theta. Bring over the 5, bring down the 3, and we get 9 times 5 over 3 is equal to theta. This gives us, what's that, it's 45 over 3 which gives us a value of 15. So pi, or I mean r, is 15 centimeters. Let's write that down here. r is equal to 15 centimeters. Okay, good. Now let's move on to the third part of our question. The third part of our question asks us to find the area of the shaded region. So this right here is our shaded region. So before we do this, let's make a bit of room. So we have to find the value of the area of the shaded region. Now, how do we do this? Looking at our diagram over here, we can tell that the shaded region over here can be calculated using the area of the sector, so the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So that would be this whole entire area minus the area of the triangle, leaving us with our shaded region. So the obvious way to solve this is to solve for the area of the sector, then to solve for the area of the triangle, and to subtract one from the other. So to find the area of the sector, we know we use our equation. And our equation states that the area, or A, is equal to 1 over 2 times r squared multiplied by theta. And we already know the value of r and we already know the value of theta. And using this we can find our answer. So we get 1 over 2 times 15 squared, let's derive value of r, multiplied by 3 over 5 pi. Now let's take this over to our calculator. That gives us an answer of 212.0575. So we get 212, this is equal to 212.0575. And this is the area of the sector. Now our next step is to solve for the area of the triangle. So let's just, for neatness's sake, let's draw a diagram of our triangle once again. We have our two sides, length r, and over here we have our angle theta. And we have to find the area of this triangle. We know that r is equal to 15 centimeters. Oh yes, I forgot, one second. This is in centimeters squared. So we know r is 15 centimeters and theta is 3 over 5 pi radians. And in order to solve for the area of our triangle, we want to do, we want to solve for base, base multiplied by height. Well, this doesn't look fun, but we still have to do it. So right here we have a 90 degree angle, so we can use Pythagorean theorem. This angle over here, we can take it to be 3 over 10 pi, because we just cut our original angle in half. Let's bring this up. So 3 over 10 pi is our new angle. The value for half of the base, or this part of our base, is equal to, so so ka toa, this is opposite over hypotenuse, 
So opposite over hypotenuse is equal to sine theta. We want to find the value of this. So h times sine of theta, where h is the hypotenuse, not the height in this case. So we get 15 times sine of 3 over 10 times pi. And that's for half of it, so we multiply this by 2 to get the base. And then to find the height, we use a similar or similar approach. So we do co so cosine cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, where this is our adjacent side. And we bring hypotenuse over here, giving us h times cosine of theta is equal to a. So the hypotenuse has a length of 15 multiplied by cosine of theta gives us the value of our height. Just remember that this is hypotenuse and this over here is referring to height. And in, our, and in this case also we should mention that theta is 3 over 10 pi. So let's plug this into our equation of half times the base times height. So we get 1 over 2 times 2 times 15 times sine of 3 over 10 pi. And this is multiplied by our height, which is 15 times cosine of 3 over 10 pi. We can cancel this out and let's plug this into our calculator. To save you a bit of time, I just plug it in and this is the answer, 106.993858. So our, the area of our triangle of the triangle is equal to 106, I already forgot, 106.993858. Point nine nine three eight five eight. Now let's get out of this and look back at our bigger picture. What we want to do is we want to find the area of the sector and subtract from it the area of the triangle. We got the area of the sector to be 212.057. So let's make a little box. 212.057. Seven, five, and from this, or centimeters squared, and from this we subtract the area of our, what's it called, our triangle, and that is 106.9 something 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 centimeters squared, and let's plug this into our calculator, 212.057 um, 212.0575.0575 minus our previous answer gives us a value of 105.063. So we only need to round to two decimals. So from this we get our value or our final answer is 105.0. Let's rewrite that. One one hundred and five point zero six centimeters squared. And this right here is the area of the shaded region.